In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how we can build this PDF generator that will generate a contract every time you submit a form inside of this format here. This can obviously be tally form or Google Forms or whatever you want. When I submit this, as you can see in here, it goes ahead and uses the uh, little template we have in here for a Google Ad Services contract template. And it makes a contract and also makes a PDF right here. And as you can see in here, we have the uh, client, which was Meta, and we also have the setup fee and also the monthly fee, as well as how often we report to them. And also we have the client's name and again, the client's company name that is all generated based off of these uh, little custom inputs right here. We have the client's custom, uh, company name and we also have the setup fee, the monthly fee, and also we have the reporting frequency. And again, we have the client's company name with the client's name. And now I'm gonna show you how you can actually build this out so you can generate contracts completely automatically just by filling out a form. So we're going to start off here completely from scratch, like we always do, to make sure you know step by step how you can make this uh, workflow. And we are going to start off with a little form submission here within NITN. This can obviously be a tally form or a Google Sheet or Google Forms or whatever you want to use, or even like a, an update in your CRM, which triggers this uh, workflow, as long as you have some input that you can use inside of the contract, which we are going to use. So for now, we are just going to let this contract be named uh, generate contracts, right? And for the fields, we are going to find the fields inside of this contract because we actually want to see what kind of input we would like to have into this contract. So we want to have the client's company name. So you can just take this and copy that over to our NITN workflow again. And in here, we can just paste that in. And now we want the next field, which is going to be, let me see, the date we are actually going to set uh, manually, or we can use a little code snippet within NITN. I'll show you later but we are going to be using the contract duration in here, as you can see, it's so going to set how, how long the contract will last. Contract duration, there we go. And we are going to add another field, which is going to be, let me see, setup fee. Setup fee, and we are going to paste that in here so we can set manually how much we're going to charge for the setup every time we make a new Google Ads, we'll get a Google Ads client. And the same goes for the monthly fee, which we can just paste in here again. And the last element will be the client's name, I believe. Uh, reporting frequency, we can also set this to whatever we would like to have it set to. So reporting frequency in here, we want to report every, let's say every week, uh, but we can't set that now, but I, you can set that when you create this Google Ads contact with this generator. And we also need the client's name right here. So those are the inputs we are going to have in our uh, form here. So those are the inputs you will need when you create this contract. And we're going to test this step right now. So we can get a, some inputs filled out from this form that we can use later in the workflow. So we're just going to say, uh, we are just going to do this for Meta. Quite a good uh, company there. And we are going to do this for three month contracts. And the set of fee is going to be $1,000. The monthly fee is going to be $1,000 again. And the reporting frequency will be once uh, every week, so we can just say weekly. And then we will also say that client's name will be Mark Zuckerberg, because he is the CEO of Mesa. Okay, moving on, we can now close this app because now we have the output as you can see in here. So now we're going to add the next step, which will be to copy the template we have in our Google Drive. So you can just search for Google and find the Google Drive. And in here, we want to use the first action, which is copy file. And we want to find the file that we want to copy. So in here, we can just after you have connected to your Google Drive account, you can just select from files here and you can search for Google Ads templates. It will probably show up. Google Ads services contract template. That is the right file. That's the file we want to use there, as you can see from the contract or from the title of the file. And we are going to set the new file name to uh, contract for, and then the name of the company for that client, just like that, and test that step. Beautiful. As you can see, it was a double spacer, so we can just uh, delete that and we will test that step again. And now I can add the next node here after the Google Drive, and that is going to be a Google Sheets node. So we're going to find the Google Sheets, and now I want to actually update a document because we want to now actually to make some changes to the document that we just made or copied. Because as you can see in here right now, when I refresh this site, we will have a copy of that Google Ads template, that, which is contract for Meta. We also made one with two spaces here, but this is the one we're going to use. So we can move back over to our NITN workflow. And in here, we want to just say that the file that we want to update is the one with the ID that was created in the last node. 
And then we wanted to actually make some uh, changes here. So we wanted to add a little action and we want to use the final replace. I just need to get my face back in the screen here. There we go. Find and replace. And we need to find the old text, which is going to be every time we have this snippet right here. You just copy that over here. We want to replace that with the client's company name, which will be this one right here from the Google form or from the edit then form. And for the next one, we're going to do the same add action. And we're also going to find and replace, replace text. And again, the old text will be what we find. Let me see contract duration right here. So you can just again, copy that over back over to our NITN workflow and we need to find and replace, paste that old text in there. And then we want to find the contract duration, which is going to be here. There we go. And we can actually just say that contract duration. Yeah, it is. It does say months. Beautiful. So the next one is going to be the setup fee right here. Just need to copy it correctly. There we go. Copy that. And we want to paste that in for the next action. In here, once again, we use the find and replace text. And we need to use that setup fee again. And we want to find the setup fee, which is here. Put that in there. And basically do this for all of these. So we're again going to use a final replace for the next to last one, I think, which is going to be the monthly fee which we are going to replace with the monthly fee that we have inside of our uh, form submission here. There we go. And now we have the last one, which is going to be the, oh, we have two, two more. Okay, so the first one is reporting frequency. So we need, just need to find that again. Reporting frequency right here. And we need to paste that in once again. This is quite a tedious uh, and a repetitious uh, cycle, but it is what it is. You only have to do it one time when you set this up, you can, generate how many contracts you want uh, after you set this up. So you can just paste that in there or drag that in there. And then we want to add the last step, which is going to be the client's name. And we again want to use the find and replace text and find that in here. There is the client's name. Beautiful. And we can just find and replace. Yes. Paste that in there. Drag Mark Zuckerberg over here. Beautiful. And now we can try and test this step. So we got a little error here just because we forgot to uh, delete the first action that was uh, put in automatically. And you can just uh, delete that. And you can now again try and test this step and it should work okay. There we go, very nice. And I can come back over to our uh, little Google Driver and we can have a look at the meta contract. And in here, we should now be able to see the different uh, inputs being added. As you can see, we now have meta in here. We have uh, the a setup fee and the monthly fee, very, very nice. Okay, so we can go back over to our N10 workflow. Now we actually want to, there's one last thing I forgot to do, which was the date. So we're now going to do set up the date. So you can just click on add action. And in here, you want to say find and replace, and we want to find and replace the date. And to get the current date, you can just add some curly brackets in here. And you also needed to set this to an expression. And we want to say just space and then dollar sign now. And as you can see, when we say it like this, I need to turn my camera back on again, you can say we get it in a quite ugly formatted date. So what we want to do is we actually want to format this by using a to format uh, function here. And we want to format this in a, or I want to format this in a month, month, day, day, year, 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 year. Very nice. So now we have the 02-27-2025 because it is the 27th of February today. Very nice. Now I can test this step once again, and we can go back over to our contract. We can see whether or not we have the uh, date. Now, as you can see, the date is updated. Beautiful. So we can just head back over to our PDF generator. And in here, we need to... And I want to actually generate a PDF from this Google Doc, so you can just search for Google Drive again. Google Drive, and we want to actually download a file. So we want to download that Google Docs and also just parse it over to be a uh, PDF, basically. So what you want to do is you want to basically choose from ID, and then you can drag that document ID, ID that we got from the last node here. And you want to add an option, and in here you want to put output field in field, output, output file in field, and then you want to add a Google file conversion. And in here we want to convert it to a PDF, so we can just change this HTML to be a PDF. Now I can test this step. And as you can see, we now got the nice uh, PDF here, so we can just view that PDF actually inside NITN. I need to turn my camera back on again. There we go, okay. 
And as you can see, now we have that PDF, uh, which is the Google Doc we made earlier. Very, very nice. So uh, what we can do now is we can actually paste this uh, or add this PDF back into our Google Drive. So we have it in our Google Drive. So the last step we're going to do here is add a Google Drive step. And we are going to upload a file. And in here, we are just going to say that we want to upload that uh, file right here from the data. Yes, that is correct. And the file name is going to be whatever we named it before here. Let me see. Uh, we are going to call it, we have the file name right here, contract from Meta. There we go. Very nice. And then we're just going to add that to where, wherever you want to add it. We can just add, add this back into tutorial. So you can just search for tutorial. Let me see. There we go. And we can now test this step. As you can see, that was successful. So we should be able to see our PDF inside of our Google Docs right now or inside of Google Drive. As you can see, we now have the contract for Meta in a PDF format. So if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe. And if you want to work with me, you can click the link down in the description and uh, I'll see you in the next video.